Namaste, gods, goddesses, and emissaries of light. This is Dr. Shreya Tayin. If you are new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and do not forget to hit the notification bell so you can be updated on my latest and my current videos. First and foremost, I want to say out of any video uploads that I have ever done in the history of YouTube, I have never in my life received as many emails as I received yesterday on the, the, the uh, masculine, that's just who I am video. Oh my God. You know what? I do have a hidden confession that I really recognized this energy so well because at one point in time on this journey, my divine masculine was that masculine. And so many divine feminines are dealing with their counterpart, their divine counterpart being narcissistic and playing out the narcissistic template. And I am so very happy that I allowed Source to use me as a vessel to be open to talk to you guys about it because it is an issue, especially in the twin flame dynamic. And a lot of people have been detoured from this path, which to me, in my own honest opinion, I feel like if you're that detoured, then you really aren't a twin flame because we are made with a special sustenance about us to endure even the most horrific situations. Not saying that I condone, you know, people that are narcissists. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying that if you are a true twin flame, God has equipped you with everything that you needed in order for you to endure this journey, even with your twin. But I am thankful and grateful, even though we are not in communication at this moment, that he has really died from that old self. That narcissistic template is no longer playing in the background. Hallelujah. So I don't experience that anymore, but I just wanted to give you a small confession that I've endured that myself alongside many others in this journey. All right. So let me go ahead and spray my kick karma in the ass spray. Oh God. It smells so good, I swear. I, I I can't help but to mention it because it just smells so bomb and it instantly just raises me right to my high vibrational frequency of love where I need to be in order to deliver this reading. This is a beautiful reading. This is beautiful energy, high dimensional, 5D and above. Oh, God. Also, I am very happy of... Thank you. Keep the feedbacks coming in for the violet flame and the karmic flush. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the person that reached out to me yesterday and told me that you were out of communication and separation with your divine masculine for a year and only three days into your work, you are now in full reunion with your divine masculine and I am so super duper happy that I was able to help you on that. Keep those coming. You guys don't know what that does. It really does a lot for me. And I'm not saying that it boosts my ego or anything. It just helps me to know who I'm helping, you know, and to be able to just have that confirmation. It means more to me than anything. Seriously, it does. All right. So with that being said, let's speak about the situation that's at hand. In the collective, the divine feminine has become like an acrobat. She has jumped through so many hoops. She has seen the lions, the tigers, and the bears of this dynamic, and she has so much strength and fortitude right now that all of her decisions are being well-guided by source energy, and she is coming into her own. And whether you are a male or a female divine feminine, you have tasted the sweet nectars of the heavens and reclined at the feast of your beloved who is mother, father, God. And at this time, you have gained mastery. You have now set your eyes upon a new gaze, you see. What seemed so easy before in order to please you, you have just now gotten even that more complicated and more complex. No more are you checking your divine masculine social media for... A lot of you, I, I sense that you've blocked your divine masculine, even from your phone. Some of you have 
even blocked him from all social media circles and even out of your mind and your hearts. You have come to realize that this journey is about the unification of yourself, the inner divine masculine and divine feminine, making it a union that is spiritual, a true hero gamus, okay? With this energy, you're bringing heaven onto the earth. All right, let's go ahead and get into this reading, you guys. Let's dig so deep. Let me call in some help. I call in all six elements. I call in air, fire, water, earth, spirit, and ether. And I also call upon the highest of the highest of the high, which is yod heh to be able to give me the information that is necessary in all directions, time and space, past, present, and future. And so it is. You see, the universe opens up to us when we are ready to receive. And as you can see, crowning your reading, you have the fool's card. This represents all signs, by the way. And it also represents the divine feminine being ready to explore and expand her horizons. She warmly welcomes new beginnings. And within the white rose, if you look at that, it symbolizes purity and it rests gently against the tunic. The right hand is offered up and out and it gestures showing reverence to the world and all that it offers. And with the 12 zodiac signs being here, that means it represents the hidden mysteries that are in the world. And this card represents new journey and freedom. This is about leveling up. This is what this card represents today. And moving on from a previous long drawn out journey, you see. The next card, which is also a major arcana card, And with both of these crowning the reading, it lets me know that there is going to be some instant and major changes that are going to take place in the collective because you already have two major arcana cards crowning your reading. Next, with this high priestess, you're now at a place where you meditate on the knowledge gleaned from the divine. The secret of the sacred is within you. The high priestess allows her intuition to guide her. And while she reads her books and learns to appreciate knowledge within, she knows the true source of wisdom comes from the communion with the divine. Her crown shaped like a full moon in a crescent moon represents her her nature and her connection to the cycles. She stands before the two pillars protecting the other side from prying eyes. The keyhole between her fingers is a tool of her craft. It helps her to unlock the mysteries as she meditates on them. The books contain knowledge and a new perspective that she is now looking upon. So the divine feminine is now listening to her own intuition, trusting in the universe. And she knows that the creator is the keeper of secrets. And she is tapping into the hidden realms of reality to manifest and make her own dreams come true. She is standing in between the veils of heaven and earth. And as she stands in this suspended position where all time is in suspension and she is at the zero point, she is able to manifest into her own existence whatever reality of her choosing. No longer does she beg and plead the universe for what she knows is rightfully hers. She recognizes that God is not one that has created her to be a beggar. And every reality that is to be had is waiting just for her to impress her consciousness upon it. And bring it into fruition. She doesn't need to wait for a special moon phase in order for her to do her rituals. For she recognizes that she is all the phases of the moon. They're all within her. That she is lunar. And that she doesn't do magic. 
She is magic, darling. How you doing? Okay. All right. So we have the seven of swords. Okay. When I see this card, every time I see this card, the first thing that I think about is that you got your guards up. Okay. This is, you know, put your dukes up. I got my guards up. Fight or flight mode. Okay. It's about protecting what belongs to you. The divine feminine is moving out of the energy though, where she feels defenseless. You see, in time past, she used to have to look over her shoulders because the divine masculine had her in situations with the karmics and she was just forever on the lookout, frustrated because she could not carry all of those swords by herself. Right now, there's a new light that's around the divine feminine at this time. And this is the light that is carrying her and seeing her through, even in her darkest moments. There is escape and success, but because of the lies, the deceit, the discord, you're now keeping people away from you. You're keeping them at bay and you're watching your back, so to speak. You have been done so many ways and you're finding it very hard to trust again. To trust again to you means to be vulnerable, open, naked, and exposed. And with this card laying down here, I don't think that you're ready anytime soon to open up. You see, this man is still carrying his forge close to his chest, which lets me know that you still have some type of guard up. You may have your guard up about your twin. Or you may just have your guard up in general because you just don't trust anymore. The one that you thought you, you, you can trust and the one that you gave your heart to was the one that hurt you the most. But have no fear, my darling. Justice is here. And the divine feminine holds the scales of light and dark. This is about the weighing of the scales. This is about karmic ties and karmic returns. The divine feminine is being positioned to come into a new state of emotional contentment, to have a new light heartedness, so to speak, and which in times past, her heart was so heavily downtrodden and burdened and just weighed down. But with the sword, if you look at it, it's in a sheer. And station and position there. It suggests that no harm will befall you if you just lighten your load. And for some of you, you've already done that. I feel that there's about to be a win-win situation that's going to prove worthy and it's going to be in your favor. Either someone from your past life is going to enter your life or someone that in this present life that's also a past life soulmate is going to return back into your life. And they're going to come back to help balance out the scales. And this could be your karmic returns. This definitely is your karmic returns. Let me Let me correct that. Yeah, your highest good is coming back to you. Pressed down, measured, and shaken out. And I feel and I sense that whatever you have put out in the universe is going to come back to you tenfold. I have a good feeling about this card for you though, okay? Now you have the Ten of Pentacles. With the Ten of Pentacles, you have the coins. And they're in the shape of the Kabbalah Tree of Life. And it stands guard at the gate which represents that your coming and your going will be blessed. You will enter into a new season of abundance, joy, laughter, and it will happen for you from today, which is April the 5th, until May the 15th. So you have 30 days of this bliss and this joy that's coming in for some of you. This is going to be a season of change, growth, and abundance, I feel. Okay, 
Next to it, you have the tarot card. You've had four major arcana cards in this deck, which lets me know this is imminent. This is about to happen ASAP. How about that? It's going to come in quick for you. Now, the tarot card is associated with the sign of Aries and is ruled by Mars. The energy that I'm pulling from this is that something is about to come into your life very quickly, very swiftly, and it's going to catch you way off guard. You're going to be very shocked. It's almost as if you get struck by a lightning bolt. That's just how fast it's going to be. And um, it also represents this card, a destruction of old ways. But I can assure you that this is a guarantee that your foundation, not only will it be shaken, but it will be awakened to some new things that the universe is ready for you to have. Some things that have been weighing you down in your life or falling away from you because they no longer serve you. Let them things go. You cannot take them to your next level. This could be whether it's people, places, circumstances, or things. But whatever the case, the divine has something new in store for you. You are no longer that same person today as you was yesterday. You are a new version of you. You are a new version of yourself, which means that life around you has already been prepared for the new way of life in the new you. Okay, you're leveling up. You are moving. It's like, you know, what's that song, the Jeffersons? I'm moving on up. To the east side, you're going to go get your piece of the pie because that's where you are right now. That's the energy that you're in. You're in the energy and the flow of abundance. And that's a good thing because you've been through so much. You've passed through so much. And most importantly, you've experienced a lot, which now you have so many choices. You have so many, so, so many infinite possibilities adjacent doors that you can choose from many many cups you can drink out of you have the ability to tap into unlimited resources in the spiritual realm you have so many options now that it's not even funny and when it comes to lovers oh my god they're just lining up at your door okay you are exploring higher level soulmates you are making love to higher level soulmates and oh my god is bomb you are looking at even some experiences that you've had with your divine masculine and you now recognize them as karmic lessons that you've learned from and they have, they have all served you well. They have set you on a higher path now. That's why you are where you are. And with all of these options that are in front of you, you do realize that not all things that glitter are gold. And so you recognize some of these options are fool's gold as well. And so therefore, you keep an eye open and you keep an eye closed. You can care less about the packaging because past situation experiences have taught you that is more about the content that's inside that matters the most. It is almost like as if you have built a methodological system in which you choose to go about things now you have completely died to your old self and your old way of thinking you are like a reinvented person that went through a spiritual transfiguration so to speak and ending your reading you have the goddess aphrodite who showed up why is she here well Aphrodite has a message for you because she represents the inner goddess that is within you and that is you, that embodies you and is telling you to now awaken to this goddess that is inside of you through dance, through creation, through self-care, through art. You used to look and time pass for a god outside of yourself until you heard a little small voice inside of you say, I am the god that you are looking for. I am the god that you seek. Recognize me. And you did recognize, indeed, you recognized that little voice that was inside of you to be your own, that you are the embodiment of God manifested in the flesh, that you and God are an atonement, which means at one with God.
No one can come into your life and try to confuse you with religion or religion <laughs> or any other dogmas that goes against your state of being and existence for the hidden realms of reality and the disconnects that you've had have been perfectly put together in the unfoldment and the development of your journey of your beautiful soul. For those things that were once hidden in the dark, they have now came manifest to you in the light, openly exposed. And so you now move and operate differently because you have spiritual knowledge and you're tapped into the hidden realms of reality that you have tapped into this so deep that it helped you in your evolution of your soul. You are now ready for the next level of your life. And I see the doors as they open up and without hesitation, you have bowed out gracefully to all the relationships that are imbalanced and brought you disharmony. You have chosen yourself first and you recognize self-worth and that you are love. You are the embodiment of love. And all you have to do is just be in the state and the being of love because that is who you are. And that is the reason why you have all of these soulmates coming after you because they are drawn to your light. And with this self-worth comes self-awareness. And you recognize that you are the one that is in conscious co-creation with the divine. And although you have merited many times from the divine intervention, that is now time that you consecrate your own path and stay committed to your journey this time. And even though in times past, you've gotten a little sidetracked along the way, you do appreciate the fact that source energy course corrected your behind and led you back to your soul's path and destiny, which is where you stand today. May you continue to walk in this truth. And so it is, my dear. I have come to the conclusion of your beautiful reading. If you like to see me on the other side for the rest of your healing for $11.11, come and join me there. I will welcome you. It is a good karma to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a love donation if you feel inclined to. You can also purchase a gift from my Amazon wish list, and it will appear on the channel. I now wrap you in my love. And I cloak you with the light of Christ consciousness. And so it is, everyone. Namaste.